Last into the den is young entrepreneur Miles Dickinson Brown. I only 18, so I think people overlook that. They think he's only 18, he, you know, he's too young. But the reason I created this business was a unique gap in the market for a designer item and something that's customised as well. While he might lack experience, Miles has no shortage of ambition. Maybe one day I could be the dragon investor in other businesses. I'm the upcoming generation. Hello, Dragons. My name is Miles Dickinson Brown, founder of Hayes Cards. I'm asking for £35,000 for a 35% stake in my company. Hayes Cards is a luxury brand that creates custom metal credit and debit cards straight to the consumer. On our online website portal, customers can design and upload images to engrave on their card. If, like many, you're struck for ideas, we have 70 plus designs pre made to choose from. Since launching in September, we have generated over £124,000 in revenue, with a gross profit of £56,000 and a net profit of £30,000. Sorry. With your investment, I'd like to increase our social media marketing budget, as well as bring new cards to market. Thank you very much for your time, and if you could open your boxes to your custom engraved cards. Personalised debit and credit cards are the offering from Miles Dickinson Brown. Oh, our own. Who's seeking £35,000 in return for a 35% share in his business. How tall are you? Six or four. How old? 18. The entrepreneur himself has already made an impression on the Dragons, but has his pitch proved similarly impactful? So that was a short, sweet and very Sorry punchy presentation. No, uh, I, I like I'll that. Let's get to the point. Absolutely right. So tell me about these. So you pick from one of our amazing designs from our website. You then freeze your card and send it to us within 24 hours. We will then remove the chip and pin and scan all the data straight onto your new debit card, metal credit card that you've chosen. So can I just check, Miles? I'll send you my credit card. Yeah. You'll take the chip out and mm -hmm. put it in. And what about the strip? How do you...? So the strip is... Um, I explained it like a, a USB stick. You just swipe it across like that. Data is just transferred. It's, it's almost like connecting one device to the other. It just goes across. OK. So if I wanted to have one done, which, in fact, you've made one for me, what would it cost? So it costs £74.99. So you're selling through a website at the moment? Correct, yes. And what's your daily income yeah, looking like? Yeah, so it varies. Um, we're very social media based. Some days we could do, you know, 30 cards in a day. Some days it's only two cards. You know, it's, it heavily varies on our TikTok and our Instagram socials. What does it cost you to produce? So it costs £7.50. But what kit have you had to buy yeah. to do that? So to start this, I've had to invest £5,000 of my own money, a laser engraver, as well as uh, testing different prototypes and, obviously, the boxes and the cars itself. And what's your capacity? You know, say this went wild, how many of these can, could you produce in a day? We could produce... It, if I show you how fast it does it, it, it is done in a few seconds. The laser zaps it and we're done and ready through. Thank you. A product that's speedy to make and offers healthy margins is music to a dragon's ears. Now, Sarah Davies wants to find out more about the teenager turned trader. So, are you still in school at the moment, doing your A-levels? No, I've again? just finished my A-levels. Just finished. And are you going off to uni, or is this you full-time uh, in the business? I am full-time in the business, but I will have to see what happens, really. And you've done 124 grand in revenue. Yeah. With five grand started, where did you get the five grand from? So when I was younger, um, I was buying and selling things on eBay. And then, yeah, I just kept doing that. And I knew that it would get to a point where I couldn't scale it as much. So I was like, well, hold it for a second, do your GCSEs, and then we'll uh, see where we go. And then I came with the idea. Something that I really want to scale. I am very impressed. Thank you very much. That you've clearly got entrepreneurialism in your bones. I hope so, yeah. Is it is that upbringing? Is that genetic? What do you yeah, think? Yeah. Uh, so my dad, he runs a mortgage business. No qualifications. Um, made his own way. And my granddad's on TV. What your did your granddad do on TV? He does uh, Dickinson's Real Deal. 
What does he do there? He's on Dickinson's Real Deal. But as what? As a... uh, it's an t- uh, antiques programme on ITV. No, I know, but what's his role? Or... Oh, he's a TV presenter. He's I'm going to guess he's David the Dickinson. Dick- David Dickinson. He's he? David Dickinson? Yeah. Wow. He's really good. He's all right, yeah. Despite his family background, Miles is clearly no antique. But does Stephen Bartlett believe his business could be a real Bobby Dazzler? I'm a sucker for this stuff. Yeah. I am the target customer of this kind of product because when, whenever Revolut pop up with any kind of personalised card, I've bought all of them. And those challenger banks, a lot of them now, Revolut, Monzo, Starling, they're all allowing increased personalisation of your debit card. Mm. I can put emojis on mine now. I think I can write something on mine now. So do you see that as being a main threat to this business? I don't see it as a threat. I see it as a, an avenue. You. you could never do any of the designs we do here on those cards. With our cards, we can put, the, as you can see here, the uh, numbers on the front or the back. You know, it's fully customizable. You can drag and drop where you want your um, account number to be, expiry, things like that. Give me an idea of the scale. How big could this get? It could be huge. We have the capacity to do maybe 15, 20 cards a day at the moment. Um, but once we have more machines and we have more funding, we could go, we could go global. Miles has ambitious plans to scale up production. So will Sarah Davies be willing to bankroll them? I think you are an outstanding young entrepreneur and I think you are going to make waves. I'm not convinced it's with this business. Okay. Obviously, as you know, I'm in the craft industry and this laser engraving is a huge trend in our industry at the moment and the machines to do it are fairly readily available. Mm -hmm. So the big thing for me was understanding the technology around the um, magnetised strip and when you explained that that wasn't really that technical, I realised that the barrier to entry to do this isn't that great. So I want to commend the ingenuity, but I don't want to invest today, so I'm out. A blow for Miles, who has lost his first dragon. Deborah Meaden praised his pitch, but will that initial enthusiasm lead to a deal? So I think you you are you 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 you've got it. You've got what it takes. You're going to be successful in life, and you can I can just feel it. And I think you've come up with a really cool idea. And I think you will make some good money out of it yourself. I don't think necessarily an investor will, because I think it is a short-term idea. It'll go like that. It'll do really well, yeah. and it'll drop off. Yeah. I'm not convinced that this has got the length of life in it. And I don't think an investor will make a great sum of money out of it. So uh, I wish you, or genuinely wish you all the best, but I'm out. I think this is a, this is a very good starter business. Because at the moment, it's a great idea and it's fantastic, but there's nothing unique. And there might need to be a little bit of thought about what is that differentiated offering. But I think I could really help you take this to a huge level. So I'm going to make you an offer. I'm going to offer you all of the money Mm -hmm. for 35% of the business, exactly what you've asked for. Thank you very much. And that's how fair I think you've been. I think you've, you've nailed it. Thank you. An offer for Miles, and unusually at exactly the level of equity he asked for. Will either of the two remaining dragons be tempted to try and muscle in on the deal? Miles, I think you're a really impressive young man. But what I think you need as a young man in business is you need a a partner and a mentor that's going to be able to open doors for you and stop you making the mistakes that you're likely to make when you're young and you you don't know what the unknown unknowns are. So I'm going to make you an offer as well. Thank you very much. Because you tick all the boxes, and I think this is a business that couldn't be more suited to me. So I'm going to do the 35,000 at 35% as well. Because I think that's fair. I'll tell you what, you are very impressive. Thank you very much. What I like about you is you're still very cool about it. Yeah, you've got to be. 
I like to think you're going to go places. This this won't be your only business, I'm sure. But um, but you need a mentor, and that's me. So I'm going to give you thirty-five thousand for thirty-five percent mm -hmm. plus Chuka time. Can I go and talk to the wall, please? Yeah, please, because I'm so honoured that they just have to copy me. <laughs> Miles has three rival bids to consider, all offering the £35,000 he was originally seeking in return for the 35% equity he was happy to give away. The young entrepreneur must make a difficult decision. Um, I have a question for all of you. What do you think, mentorship-wise, you can bring to the table in terms of, obviously, you're all very experienced, you've been in business longer than I've probably been alive, majority of you. What would you, can you give to an 18-year-old like me? Time. Pick up the phone to a dragon mm -hmm. who's got a team behind him who, who's going to support you 24-7. Yeah. Time is what you're going to get from me. Nobody has mentored, helped and assisted more young people in Britain than me. Mm -hmm. I will give you access to a whole team of individuals that will open up more opportunities than you can potentially cope with. Yeah. So I think the support can be definitely be there. Some great offers, you know, pick up the phone, advice from his team and support there. I'm going to go one step further. You can come and work in my office with me and my team. I've got two girls in my team who are TikTok experts that work two foot from my desk. You need to be around that group well, of people. They need to work harder. Because I've, I've done one video on TikTok and you still haven't matched me on views. Yes, I have. I've yeah. got... I've got... <laughs> Guys, please. If I, my, my, my 50th video has got 2.6 million views, OK? He's so, done one video and I've got 2.6, okay, just so, saying. So, and, and I had to show him last night how to use TikTok. So, um, going it's all back... about to, popularity, though. Going back to, my, going back Miles, to my point... can you imagine working with these two? Can you Sorry, imagine... Tuka. That, that Miles, Miles. Working with any of those two. Miles. You want somebody who's solid. Tuka, I let you speak. Established. Tuka, Tuka, let me finish <laughs> answering my question. I'm the guy for this business. And Miles, just think about it. Look at the guy that's delivered more success than anybody. Not talking about it, but yeah. delivering it. Stephen, I'd like to set you off her. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we can't get two metres apart, but we'll do a virtual handshake. Thank you, Thank right. you Miles. Success for Miles. You'll learn how to make good decisions later <laughs> on in life. <laughs> Who leaves the den with £35,000 and the backing of a dragon whose experience equals extra credit in the bank. I feel great, ecstatic. With Stephen on board, it'll help loads with mentorship and bringing confidence to myself, really, as well. It's tough as an 18-year-old trying to establish something. He's impressive. I was so tempted to almost try and get a deal where I got first refusal in his next business. That's why we should stay in contact, because I'll invest in his next business. <laughs>